Good morning everyone and welcome back to Llama Karma Farm. Uh, this morning I'm going to try and dig some poisonous plants out. I've just found these yellow flowers. I thought, oh, it's buttercups. But no, it is, what's it called? I can't remember what it's called. I've got a really good lesser celandine or calendine, celandine probably. I've got a really good app on my phone that, that uh, identifies lots of plants. And it says it's extremely dangerous to livestock and humans. Um, and the, uh, if eaten it can cause blisters in the mouth and down the throat. So it's not good. So I'm going to see in I can dig it out and uh, try and get rid of it. Also dangerous to dogs. If humans get the sap on their fingers it can blister up as well. So I'm going to get digging. Here it is, the lesser celandine. Yeah, it looks like it's part of the buttercup family. But at the moment there's only a small spread. Try and dig it out. Apparently, it's in bulb form. I'll get rid of all the leaves and the bulbs and the plants. So, I advise you to use gloves. You know, don't get them burnt yourself. Let's see what we've got. Or a bulb. Is there a bulb? Can't see one yet. Maybe. Ah, there we go. Guess that's considered a bulb. I think I'm just going to take the whole of this area out. And just reseed it. Well, better to be safe. It says they, it says they might not eat it if it's too bitter, which it is. But there again, they then say that only a small amount only takes a small amount to blister them up, and that is the last thing you need. And they won't be able to eat, and then their stomach stop. Oh, there's a lot of bulb. Oh, I'll know where the area is, so just keep an eye on it. It's quite invasive, so if I can get rid of it whilst I can find it. We've got a few other plants around the place, but they do avoid it. I probably will avoid this, but you don't want to take the chance when it can be so uh, dangerous. Oh, so, is that one? I don't know. It's deep. Apparently, it was used, or it has been claimed for different uses, but. None of it's been 
medically proven and I would not want to go anywhere near it if some wacky doctor came up to me with something like this. No llamas at all to be seen a minute ago. Then, left by magic, you hear a noise behind you. And they're all there. Come to see what you're doing. All the worms are coming up. I'm glad I saw this this morning, thinking it was uh, buttercups coming up already. I'm glad I got me up. Hello, Philippe. See what I'm doing? Keeping you safe, hopefully. The difficulty comes in recognition. That is lesser handling, sendling, or whatever. This is sorrel, slightly different, but still got the V shape at the bottom. So uh, just as well I've got my app to help me out, because I think it is pretty much spot on. So, I've dug this bit out. Bit of effort. But, uh, got as much out as I can, I can see. I'll get some grass seed and put on that. There are some spot places around the, around the field that I've seen that I'll go and uh, I'll go and get. I think the difficulty is this bucket filling up. And that's the fourth bucket. I've just taken everything out, grass the lot. It's not worth worrying about. But, uh, I think you can only, the only problem is you can only see it once it goes yellow, but it's coming out now, so I'll just keep an eye on it. And we'll get rid of, uh, get rid of what I see when I see it. So I'm glad I did see it and was able to identify it. So, just need to go and find the rest of the thing, the rest of the bits of it around the place, dig it out, and then keep an eye and reseed the areas that I've dug up. Kerry and Jake are playing. They're going down there. Philippe's coming down as well. So I've found another toxic plant. We've had it for some time down here. Um, but I thought as soon as I'm digging stuff out, I'll carry on doing it. Um, it's Cuckoo Pint or Lords and Ladies. I think it's cheese on toast, there's other names for it as well. 
It's all toxic for humans and animals. Um, they do avoid it, but I thought, well, might as well get it out. It's a lovely day to stay down here and do some digging. Um, the word pint doesn't come as in the measurement pint. It comes, it's a shortened version of the word pintle or pintle, pintle I suppose, which means in Old English a gentleman's appendage. Um, and apparently the plant at some point represents the female and um, male parts. So it's a bit of a, a censored plant there, especially on a Sunday. So we'll try and get it out. It's quite easy to dig out. The ground's rather dry here. I'll do it one handed. The thing is to make sure you get the bowl. There we are. Got a bulb. There we go. It's the bulb. That comes out very easily, and so we'll uh, we'll carry on getting that out. Now I've got some grass seed. Very good. Very good sprinkle. No, whoop, I've just trodden it. Oh well, trod it in maybe. Just gently, as if it's being rolled. It's not different to being rolled, is it? So uh, that's it for this video, if you liked it then uh, please think about subscribing, hit the like button, notification bell, perhaps leave us a comment underneath. And we'll see you again soon on Lama Karma Farm. Until then, take care.